All right, guys. Project for today is to get this crypto miner. It's an S19i. I have an older version of the S19. Um, get that hooked up. I'm going to do a, a, an off-grid test run with it. So I've got the, the grid disconnected, and I'm running some cables up to up to this um, breaker box here. Uh, I'm going to put one one twenty. 20 amp breaker and a couple outlets on it, off of that box to run the S19 and we'll see how it how it runs off grid uh, should be drawing about 3200 watts it's kind of overcast today um, obviously since I uh, want to run this test the last past two weeks it's been totally sunny not a cloud in the sky, and now today we've got clouds, so and it'll be a good test, anyways. Not always sunny, so let's uh, let's keep going here. I've got some of this done already. I gotta put my gloves on because this thing is is live. Charging the battery right now. It's pretty close to being charged up. So this is gonna be a
round left here. Gotta find me a ground block. ground. Turn the battery off. Alright. Everything's hooked up. Miner's running. This power supply has two 240 volt sockets in it. We got to run both of them. So we got. You can see the the grid is totally disconnected. We're just running off the backup, which is uh, where you got to run for off grid. So far so good, not much sun, it's still hazy overcast outside, so it's drawing power from the battery. Um, in about, last I looked, I think it was uh, 23 to 2500 watts off, off the solar, the rest is coming off the battery, and this thing should be drawn about 3200 watts when it's up to full steam. So we'll see, uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, I'll check in later. I'll take some screenshots too when I'm off the video here and post them up there too. Alright, the sun came back out. And when it's out, we're actually charging battery right now. Uh, it was about 400 watts, charging 400 watts. Um, I think it was 3,700 watts coming in on the panel. Put a screenshot up for you. So far, so good. Let's see how long it runs. And it's... Uh, It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Okay, to show you what the cloud situation is here. Even with that, we're still charging the battery.
Well, 6.30 and we're still going. At about, I think 60, was 68% battery. Take another screenshot and put it up in the video. Um, had one slight issue this afternoon. Kept getting a um, an overcurrent fault in the in the inverter, and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on at first. But um, it shut off like three times. It came back automatically, but then after that, I don't know if it was three or four times, maybe five times. Um, then it didn't it didn't come back by itself. You have to manually uh, in the app. You have to clear the fault. Um, finally figured out what what the issue was. In the in the battery emulator, there's all kinds of settings too, and and that was set down to five amps. So after you know when it got to when it got to around five amps, then the battery would shut down, and there wasn't enough solar to keep keep the uh, keep the unit running. So. It gave an overcurrent fault, but um, I, I've got it up to 20 amps now, and I, it hasn't uh, hasn't had a problem in a in a couple hours now. So I would say that was a successful first run. I'm going to run the battery down maybe to 20 percent. I think that's that's what the what the cutoff is set at anyway. I'll run it down to twenty percent and see what happens. And then I don't know, we're supposed to have kind of the same overcast day tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll run the same thing again. I I might. I might do that, see what happens, but look looks like I can run three of these miners on, on one of these Solus S S sixes, so it it worked out pretty good. I'll I'll hook a couple more panels up too tomorrow. Um, I gotta do the next section, but I there's there's two more panels in that in that first array that I can hook up. So I'll do that in the morning or or tonight. Well, it's almost seven thirty. Getting pretty dark, the moon's up. See what's going on in the shed here. Still running. Last time I looked, we were at, I think, 50%. 50% state of charge and almost 7.30, so... I think we're going to get at least... At least a good three hours of run time on, on one... On one miner. And that... That depends, I guess, on how charged the battery is before uh, before the sun goes down. Big variable there. All right, guys. If you like this kind of content, would appreciate a like and, and a subscribe if you're not subscribed. Helps us uh, help the channel grow. Gets the word out there and kind of keeps me motivated. Okay, catch you later, guys. Adios.